stumbled upon this video. Minister, do you accept that the position of Deputy Premier is not only a powerful position in government but also requires a great sense of duty? If so, do you believe it is appropriate to escalate a civil matter into a criminal matter? And if not, why was the fixated persons unit dispatched to arrest Christo Lanka at his family home on the 4th of June this month at the behest of Deputy Premier? Minister, are you aware that the fixated persons unit was set up to take lone actor extremists three years after the Lint Cafe siege? And how do you reconcile the use of the fixated persons unit to arrest a person who possesses or draws caricatures of someone as opposed to the Lint Cafe siege terrorist man, Heron Monis and his ilk? Minister. Um, Mr President, I thank the, uh, the Honourable Member for his question asked of me representing the Deputy Premier. Um, he has asked, obviously, quite um, a specific question in relation... Um, in relation to um, the, the, the particular um, matters that he's raised. I will say at the outset, he made a comment, a, a question around the Deputy Premier and that role being powerful, but one of duty. Well, I don't think anybody encapsulates uh, a sense of duty like John Barillaro for the work that he does. Uh, <laughs> representing... Order, order, order. That's I not what I've heard from... Um... The response from the opposition, but clearly not in this case. The Minister has the call. Uh, mm. Representing regional communities as he does and as leader of the nationals, uh, I think there is no one uh, in this place who has a, a bigger sense of duty than John Barillaro with the work that he does. And he doesn't have a bigger sense of duty. He has a bigger sense of ego, narcissism, and and like just an all out, you know what I'm talking about, guys. The uh, the powerful advocate that he is for regional order. Now, Mr. President, what I will say um, is that obviously the member has referred uh, quite specifically to legal matters that are underway and police investigations. So I will take the question on notice because I don't want to say anything that might uh, impede or affect that particular investigation, Mr. Mr. Um, President. Um, but I will also very happily put on the record on my behalf, and I expect on behalf of uh, all on this side of the chamber, um, that uh, the Deputy Premier has our full support uh, yeah. and uh, and we will let the, the relevant uh, legal proceedings take place. Mr President, the question clearly does not go to the facts of the case. The question clearly goes to the appropriateness of the use of the what is that basically an anti-terrorist uh, unit within the New South Wales Police. Thank you. It does not go, there's no excuse it's no excuse for the government to say this is a legal matter and I'm not going to answer it. Uh, order, order. The minister, I think, has completed the answer to the question. Really? So my thoughts on that is that um, she completely avoided the whole idea of what he was trying to say. He was saying that as a, a government body, they should not be exploiting the terrorism counterterrorism group right and what she said is i'm not going to talk about the details of the case he was not asking about the details he was clearly asking that to justify the reasoning as to using that kind of division for something so minor anyway that's all that is